All right. In front of me is a Buick Regal GNX from Hot Wheels. This is from the Fast and Furious Premium Series, specifically the re-release version from 2022. There's a reason why this is out today because I got this. Well, it arrived to me on Friday, but I left for Glendale. Now it's Sunday and I have it and I'm doing a video on it. This is the Run the Jewels Hot Wheels Volcom Collaborative Collaboration Model. And it is, does it say what it is on the box? Yes, the 87 Buick Regal GNX. These were sold on Mattel Creations. It's somehow sold out in 20 minutes, and I will get to why I say somehow sold out in 20 minutes. They also sold these on the Volcom website. I don't know if they're still available, because they also did like a clothing line for this drop that I don't really care about, because I don't really care about that stuff. So yeah, well, we're gonna open it, and I'm just gonna carefully as I can open the box. This box, the box is nice. Packaging's cool. So hopefully I can get this open with minimal damage. I'm trying to, I don't have a knife on me, so I'm just kind of trying to score it with these scissors, but yeah, this is not gonna be, okay, there goes that. Okay, I got one half open. Hopefully this is good enough to, okay, come on. I gotta go kind of quick here because um, if you don't know, there's a bunch of like ankle biting mosquitoes I already ripped the box. Wamp, wamp. This thing's a pain to get out. Whatever. Whatever. Here we go. I think that's just the outer box. Oh, yeah, that's the outer box. Who cares? This is the actual box. Wow. So, if you, so anyway, I was talking about the ankle-biting mosquitoes. They're in full force right now in California. So as I said, this is Run the Jewels Hot Wheels Volcom. You may have heard of Volcom clothing brand. Run the Jewels, never listened to their music. They're like a rapid duo. I've never listened to their stuff. I've heard of them, just never listened to them. Here's the packaging. There they are. Yeah. As you can see, here's all this text. Am I gonna read it? No, can you read it? I mean, you can if you pause the video. There's the render of the car. And now let's get this open. Um, you open it. Does it just slide out? I think it might just slide out. Yes, it slides out. Ooh, okay, here we go. It slides out. There's another box. There's the model. I'm, an obvious, I'm obviously going to take it out. Is it taped together? No. Gosh, the box is awesome. Look at that. The, it's got like a blacked out kind of gray silhouette of the art right here. That's really cool. Okay, the packaging's nice, but we're gonna talk about the price uh, pretty soon. I'm gonna try and open. Does it open from the top? I think it does, yeah, okay. And this just slides out. Oh wait, this folds down, or there's just a slide. This whole thing just slides out. Take the car out. I'm gonna probably display it loose. And then it all just slides back in as one unit, except it's not gonna go in nice and clean, obviously not. Oh wait, no, because that just folded in on itself. There we go. Okay, the model. Here it is in all of its glory. Something I didn't really notice at first when this was announced is that it has pink wheels. I thought these were just chrome and it was like a mirror, but no. Or like it was like mirrored in the pictures or whatever. And it was just like, no, these are actually pink. That's a cool touch. I like the pink wheels. Um, yeah, it is the Buick Regal black base like this one. Black body. It has the Volcom logo right there. Let me actually zoom in on that. You can see the Volcom logo. Get some of this dust off here. The RTJ HW VLCM. So Run the Jewels, Hot Wheels Volcom right there with the kind of thing going on there grand national there hot wheels there you got the front which has the rtj run the jewels license plate the other side exactly the same as the right side there's the back the license plate there says volcom a little hard to see but there it is grand national there as well you have the hot wheels run the jewels volcom logo here on the window you have the run the jewels one of the run the jewels logos right here on the roof and you have run the jewels on the windshield and that's the model i mean there's nothing much to it it's the regal it looks cool it's got pink wheels it's got 
a bunch of graphics for like Run the Jewels Hot Wheels. But here is my issue, and this is what I want to talk about. This cost $35. And it is the same quality as a $6.50 premium from Target or Walmart or wherever you get your premiums. I don't know why, but I feel like I just got ripped off by Mattel. I think everyone did. As cool as this model is, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I think this is cool. The pink wheels are, are, are sweet. I dig it. I like the pink 10 spokes, but $35 for just a, the, the, for the same quality as a model that costs $6.50. I mean, the packaging's cool, but like, like the quality of the product that I'm getting does not match the price that Mattel is selling it for. And I feel like that's been a trend lately. Prices are going up but the quality is not improving. It's, stag it's stagnant. And I say the same quality, because look at the graphics. Look how blurry and grainy they are, which is kind of the, the gold standard for Hot Wheels premiums is these dot matrixy, blurry graphics. I mean, we call it dot matrix because that's what it looks like. It looks awful. It's blurry. It's low quality, low resolution, what have you. And a lot of Hot Wheels collectors are like, sucks a lot of diecast collectors just think it sucks because like i said mattel prices are going up prices going up quality is staying the same including this bad graphics system it's awful the main lines have better quality graphics because that's like a physical tampa i don't know what the heck they're doing here but it's it's not good that's really i just wanted to talk about this i mean i wanted to open it check it out review it and i think it's pretty cool but i don't it's 35 dollars plus shipping and tax cool and I gotta say, I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel like Mattel just ripped all of us off. I mean, right now there's like a crowdfund RLC Bel Air Gasser that they're selling for I think $250. When an average 118th scale, did I say 124th scale? I meant 118th scale, I don't know what I said. But the 118th scale candy striper on Mattel Creations that they're crowdfunding, they want 250 for it. Guess what? You can buy a 118 scale Auto World for $120 or less. Yeah, Mattel prices, I feel like they're just charging more for products because they can, because they're Hot Wheels. They have the brand recognition, especially with like the Run the Jewels and Volcom thing going on here. They can kind of upcharge for that brand recognition. And I, yeah, I got, I got a, is it Metal Flake paint? Or is that just bad quality there's like sparkles in the paint I don't know if you can see that that's actually sparkling yeah let me look at it in the light with my own eyes yeah there's like sparkles in the paint look at that there's like some sparkles it's not like just dust it's not wiping away I mean, that's kind of cool. I like the model. That's the thing. I like the model. But gosh, it's not worth tw it's not worth $35. It's just not. It, it's the same quality as a basic premium like this guy, the Fast and Furious Regal. Might as well just take this and add some gray graphics and pink wheels. You're done. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think it's a bit of a steep price for this. I mean, it's cool, but... I gotta call it out for what it is. It's just a $6.50 premium being hiked up because you put some rapper's name on the box and made it, I don't know. I don't know. That's my thoughts on it and that's about it. See ya.